Hello and welcome to Logan Random Aquascaping. Today I have a super short video for you guys. This is a tutorial on how to trim Helanthium tenellum green. So let's dive right in. So Helanthium tenellum green is a beautiful plant and it's a rosette plant, which means it has a circular arrangement of leaves that surrounds sort of a single point. And as long as that single point, the rosette remains intact, it's totally cool to be absolutely brutal when you're trimming this and hack it way back every few weeks. So eventually Helanthium tenellum green will grow quite tall if you let it sort of grow wild and don't keep it in check. So it's nice to every once in a while really take it down. So that's what we're gonna do today. And for this, I highly recommend using a pair of curved scissors because that's gonna let you get down nice and low and get the proper leverage you need to really trim it down to that rosette. And what you wanna do is you wanna start on one side of the tank and sort of work your way over to the other. So what I do is I get my scissors down nice and low and I trim as close to the base of the plant, as close to the rosette as possible. And the reason why is if you trim off sort of, you know, the top third of the top half of a blade of Helanthium tenellum green, it's not gonna grow back. So it's best to remove as many unsightly trims as you can at the base so that you're not seeing, you know, visible leaves that are cut in half. So get about as low as you can. And then what you wanna do is just go over your work and look for individual leaves that sort of stand out like a sore thumb, hack those down as well, and then work your way through the rest of the tank. And when it comes to propagating, Helanthium tenellum green propagates via runners, just like Eleocaris does. So you can see right over here, you have the runner. And if you have some stray runners that are sort of adventurous and working themselves away from the main carpet, you know, don't be afraid to pluck those out with a pair of aquascaping pincettes or just snip in the middle of the runner. And you can either use those to propagate new Helanthium tenellum green or fill in gaps. But of course, the trimmings themselves, the blades that you've cut in the pieces, those won't be able to grow new plants. You'll have to dispose of those. And whenever you dispose of aquarium plants, do it responsibly. With the blades themselves, they're just gonna rot. They can't grow new plant. But if it was something like a rotala that in the right conditions, if it got into a local waterway, it would be viable and reproduce. Those you wanna dry out for a few days before disposing of them or soak them in a bleach solution so they're not viable. Fortunately, with Helanthium tenellum green, unless you're uh, you know, cutting off individual rosettes and runners, you don't have to worry about the blades, so super easy disposal. And I highly recommend when you're done with your trimming, you do a water change, you know, and this is an opportunity to really get down to the base of your carpet, pull up some of those excess waste organics and uh, things will be looking really, really bare, but in a few weeks, you should get some really nice growth and probably six weeks or so from now, it'll be ready to trim again. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.